There you go, now I'm in the correct spot. How are y'all doing? How is everyone doing? I have a cat here. You might be able to hear him. There you go. Can you hear him? No. We did it. We done did that already. Uh, I should have tweeted that I was streaming. Whatever. So, my, my, uh, stream did get claimed from that video. Hey, I'm a 10. Um, which is hilarious to me. But yeah, it got, it got claimed. It didn't get struck. It just got claimed, but it, it's fine. Like, I don't monetize. If there's another cutscene, I will, uh, you know, I'll, I'll play it, and it's all good. I just get, you know, you, you get paranoid as a tuber. Doing bad. Oh, no. What's up? I got a... Very, very full stream today. Oh my god, my headphones. Headphones are on their last legs. Alright, uh... I think my headphones are actually dying. Hold on a second. You don't have to leave, cat. I'm just gonna have to tolerate me moving around a little bit. Rat got a tumor. Aw, oh, Jesus. That's no good. Rats, rats don't last too long, unfortunately. They're, uh, they're really nice pets while you have them, but, you know. I think it was like max four years you get. It sucks. I like, I like rats. Rats are, are nice. Oh, god damn it. Alright, hold on a second, y'all. I'll be right back. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, my, my a package arrived for me. It's it's a nice new new box full of masks. Yay! Now I get to go to the grocery store without feeling like a goon. All right, let's do some see see if we can't knock out some story. Yay! <laughs> Lulu's friend, alright. I'm just gonna jump into this. If it's wrong, that's fine. Uh, I've got a very full stream planned for us today. I don't know if I... Hmm. 
This is Void. I don't know if I actually gave him any good cards. I think he's working with default cards. Didn't you do Lulu already? I thought I did. But I think we're still on Lulu. Like, I don't think we did Lulu herself. So, downward slash 50% chance to boost slash damage. They're weak to... Um... Bash and Pen. Okay. We'll do... We'll open up with this. Actually, we should do these because that way we get more attacks. Um... No one's weak to Slash, unfortunately. So, we'll just do this to, to stall for a bit. We'll do Pen and Bash here. There we go. Staggered. I, I kind of know what I'm doing. I, I, this is the, this is the latest story that I, maybe I have to grind a bit before I can do the next story. I'm not sure. I'm just going to wing it. Hey RGB, how are you doing? Victory! I forgot to mention there's a content warning on this game. I don't know if I got Lulu's uh, page. Oof. Everyone's going to be attacking one person. So I, I should um, try and, and uh, head them off a little bit. So we'll, we'll hit that one. And Lu Roland is going to take on Lulu. She's weak to Slash, which is great. And um, our friend here is just going to try and defend themselves somehow. Ooh, almost... Oh, almost staggered Lulu on the first hit. No, you don't. Early gameplay do doesn't need grinding. I think you did get her page already. Hmm. Well, I, I, I clicked on the latest act. I'm not sure. So take two to five less damage from slash attacks when hit. Reduce the damage of the attack to zero at 20% chance. So, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Um, I've got a huge stream planned for us today. Uh, there's, a, I have a couple of games for the feature, but the feature segment is mostly going to be Wandering Village, and I have a giveaway. I meant to put that in the title. I'm going to be giving away some uh, keys for uh, Wandering Village. If you have any interest in Va Wandering Village, then you'll you'll want to, you know take part also um, that game is real good I like it a lot I've been I've been enjoying it in my off time Oof. oh my god that's the worst we we like almost staggered her and now we have to work back from the beginning gain one to two strength at the end of each scene at the end of each scene if they the librarian did not deal any damage with offensive dice they lose 25 percent of their max hp let's try it <clears throat> well this guy is gonna die for sure well no okay we can we can head them off a little bit so we'll head that person off. Actually, yeah, and then we'll head this person off. So Roland's gonna actually divert two people and then we'll have this person just fight for their lives. Let's see if we can't get them to like... Nah, let's do something beefy. What, what a bunch of whiffs. Damn. 
Isn't Wandering Village still not released? I think it releases tomorrow. Could be wrong about that. Pretty sure it does release tomorrow. Okay, we're going to kill this person here. There we go. One one of them dead. I'm very drunk, so please don't expect tips and such. Oh, no worries. I'm, I'm doing all right. Curtains closed. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to me that nothing happened here. Maybe we're supposed to do... Um, I'm pretty sure, like, they were explaining to me last time about inviting random people. Like this. Urban myths. Um... I don't have any floors to do here. I also, I want to kit out Void because um, they they are not kitted. Uh, I don't even think they, I gave him a jacket or anything. Key page, what do we want to give them? Pierre's page, maybe? Mars page? Yeah, probably Mars page because they get two to five and they also have more health. Oh, wait a minute. Mars Page is equipped on Roland. Never mind. Uh, so we'll give him uh, a hook, hook Office Fixer, page two. Kind of like Jack's page. Did I not get Lulu's page again? I know you like roguelikes, Bimple. Are you aware of Shovel Knight Dig? It comes out in 10 days. I am aware of Shovel Knight Dig. I am interested in playing that for sure. I am, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit burnt out on roguelikes. Just a little bit. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a tan with deck builders. For me, it's it's roguelikes. And I mean, more specifically, roguelite uh, lights. Cause like, every game. <laughs> Every game lately has been a roguelite, and um, it's it just feels like, I don't know, it feels light a lot. <laughs> I, um, I'm starting to feel like I don't actually want every single game I play to be some kind of like career or a 30 to 300 hour campaign. Hey Zoctan, how are you doing? You have new invites, they are just up. Oh. Really? Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. Nah, there it is. Cool. Thank you for letting me know. Do I have to give up Book of Mars? Oh, no, that's the that's the Book of Marge. Um, Marge. <laughs> oh, me. You can't kneel forever, you know. I beg you, my juniors, they're all dead. My son, he is very sick. You've said that a million times by now. It's gonna ring in my ears for days. Look, I know what happened. Your crew all died on a trip to a place called the library. I'd like to request this Vi for support. I want to retrieve their books, at least. And barging into Zvi HQ to beg like this is not the right way to do it. Come on, you know better than that. Isadora, please, let's help him j out just once. Can, uh, could we at least request our superiors for a review of this case? I know you're friends with this idiot, but even then, we should not act upon friendship or attachment. The whole system could collapse otherwise. The lobby will be filled with all kinds of miserable folks begging and pleading for help. You may be a low-grade pipsqueak, but you're still Zvi's associate, Fixer, nonetheless. You'd better remember that you learn uh, what you learned today. 
die. My brain is foggy you know today. Don't worry, I have coffee. Should fix it. But I'm responsible for this case, and and the association is responsible for it too. Nowhere in our records does it say that Zvi is involved in this case, though. I have no idea what you're talking about, miss. So that's how it is. You use us as you please, then uh, turn your back on us so easily. Hello, you're putting the blame on the wrong people here. Even if such a deal did put, take place like you said, you must have demanded or at least expected a corresponding reward. That's what a deal is, after all. You use the association as much as the association used you. You don't get to talk like it was one-sided extortion. Come on, let's not act like rookies now. You've been in this business for eight years, you should know how things work by now. Isadora, you don't have to be so harsh. We all started out as office mates. I'm just frustrated. I don't want to see him in such a wretched state either. Foggy brain moments. Sorry, I understand what you're trying to say. You're right, that's how it always been. I'll go look for another way now. I'm sorry, I never thought it would turn out this way. No. It's the Dory. Alright. <laughs> hey, oh, well, would you look at that? Now, this is the proper procedure I'm talking about. The Hannah Association just elevated the library from urban myth to urban legend. He's got a billion berry bounty. Oh my god. That means our association can now officially act on this case, right? Well, yeah, but we still don't know Zvi's stance on it yet, so don't get your hopes up, okay? Thank you, Isadora. I really owe you one. And apologies for laying my burden on you. It's nothing. All I did was compile information following procedure and send it to the higher-ups. It's adorable, am I right? <laughs> She's got a big ass sword. It actually looks like I think it's longer than her. There certainly have been reports that several other syndicates and offices fell victim to the library, although they were mostly insignificant fledglings. But it's all thanks to the masterful data and analysis by our lovely Isadora from Section 6 that it could be handled so quickly, right? That's my girl. That's, that's, that's my girl. Fine, believe in what you want, whatever you want. Anyway, do you still have that invitation with you? Looks like an association is about to make their move. Things will be different from now on. How much of a difference does that make? The guests uh, we've had so far all gave us a visit out of casual interest or curiosity, but our future guests will have a clear goal in mind involving the library. How so? The case officially recognized by the associations is guaranteed to be rewarding, and money attracts an awful lot of attention. Not a problem knowing that most of the fixers are heavily augmented. The scale of our affairs is only going to escalate from here, like it or not. Our threat level or importance is still probably on the lower end, but we'll never, nevertheless get all sorts of people trying to unravel the mysteries of this place, as long as the associations have an eye on us. I like the sound of that, I can make more valuable books out of them. I still have a lot to see and learn. I've been wondering for a while, but what's stopping you from leaving here? I am under a curse. Oh, of course, of course, of course. A curse. I should have guessed. How, how could I not guess that? A deep ancient curse, <laughs> that is what is what's attached to me. No being that isn't human can walk out of this place. Besides, I don't want to leave this place until I've had my revenge either. It's not too bad so far. Rather, I've been actually quite del uh, delighted lately. It has been full of brand new things, unlike the prison that was my past life. New faces, accumulating knowledge, intriguing events. I like this abundance of freshness. I want to know more. I will keep learning and learning as I learn. I might finally figure out why I had to, what it mean, what it means to be human. <laughs> Why I was subject to such torment. Guess I gotta work harder then, I can't leave here as, as long as you can't, you know? Hey, if we get to leave one day, why don't I take you to a place I frequent? I don't think Roland's getting out of this one. You mean a restaurant? Yep, they make some sick meat stew there. One of the secrets to that stew is the giant tin pot they commissioned. 
T Corp to customize. Boil meat with some water for 10 seconds in the thing, and you get tenderized meat with a rich broth that you'd normally only get after three straight days of boiling. <clears throat> Creating a taste that's so rich in such a short time is what makes the restaurant so hot. So the only issue is that the, that prices are a bit high. I spent half of my last job's payout on a single meal one time, but it's totally worth it. Oh right, you're incapable of eating. Sorry for bringing up useless words, ma'am. There are plenty of other places you'd love to visit, so I'll make sure to give you a tour through the city, ma'am. I can eat, but I cannot taste the food. I do wish to try dining like you people uh, do if I get a chance, though. In any case, we do need to finish the task at hand before anything. And the stew, I'll keep that in mind. So we have, like, there are five more parties. And then every party gets four floors to, like complete each that's a lot of game i can see i can understand why this is going to go on for a long time not that that's a problem at all but you know so they have two to five Oof. oh no okay as long as they're all attacking someone different i don't mind um okay pen pen slash anyone got slash pen and slash oh here we go slash Mm. We actually want this person to do that because they have slash. So this person is weak to pen, so we can actually hit them with a pen. So this is, you know, kind of a mixed bag right now. And we'll see what happens. Oh, stagger, nice. Oh, deflect. Okay, well, nothing bad happened there, so. Wow, we whiffed so hard there. Uh, we'll throw this on Roland. Uh, Alright, roll it. So, we want to have this person take out this person, because they're the only one not being attacked right now. So they're weak to slash. Um, this is the worst person to have fight them. Might kind of double team them a little bit. Oh, they are kind of weak to bash. Just a little bit. This person is weak to pen. So we can do something like this. That works. Alright. That was something. Ooh. Nice. I like the uh, the animations. Once things get rolling, they're 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 a lot. Of, they're they're very satisfying. Okay, we'll put this on this person because uh, they take slash damage pretty badly. Okay, so this person weak to pen still, and we're we're just gonna hit them with some stuff I, like I, you know it doesn't matter at this point to slash I, I mean I'll try and match things up as best as I can when I can but for the most part I'm just gonna you know throw out my hardest attacks when I can ah they deflected yes stagger nice dead Okay, now we can triple team this one one person here. Well, in inflict paralysis on them. How about that? It's still not r rolled. Game is much fun later on and animations get crazier. Okay. Selected librarian dies at the end of the third scene after which this page was chosen. Gain four strength, endurance, haste, and protection. Well, we're about to win, so this seems like a really risky one. We'll put it on Roland. 
Seven and six? Oh, what? There's a hundred percent no reason for us to go this hard, but it, it, you know, you gotta smack, smash. Curtain call for the reception is via crew members. Let's hope we get to a key page. Oh, we've got a floor for a net, <laughs> nut sack. <laughs> All right, um, not sure what I'm gonna need for this one. So I'll just go ahead and jump into it and we'll see what what, uh, what I need. Um, let's see here. Incomprehensible deal double stagger damage from all sources. That doesn't seem okay. I don't think I've given this person a page. So they're staggered instantly. So they don't seem to do any damage. They just stagger. Just bring more page? Okay. Well, I actually hit them, so that's an improvement. Oh, I don't have enough. Let's just do a defend. While in hand, decrease max stagger resist. Oh, so we actually don't want to give that up. Wait, decrease max stagger resist? So I actually do want to use this if I can? I'm not sure how that works. I can offer you a good starter Mars page build. Um, sure. I mean, I've just been kind of winging it with uh, Roland, but you know. Ah. Ouch, Jesus. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. I know I'm doing something wrong. It seems to me I only want to attack if I have a higher roll. Is that what I'm getting from this? I can't believe I'm not dead, honestly. There, there it is. I got kind of close to staggering them. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep trying here. It's an abno fight, read the passive, read the combat pages. Okay. List of effects applied during battle. Oh, I see the combat pages. On hit add enlightenment to target's hand. So I'm assuming I'm going to want to play enlightenment to get it out of my hand. They are weak to pretty much everything.
They have, they they roll like ridiculously high. Unhit add enlightenment to target's hand. So we have enlightenment. While in hand, decrease eight, uh, max stagger resist by 50%. So I'm assuming I want to use this as quickly as possible. Ouch. Are they just like rolling really high? Echoes from the beyond. I don't know what that did. I should have read it. So they're still doing uh, add enlightenment to our hand. We have enlightenment. We can inflict some bleed to them, maybe. There we go. Staggered. Nice. Uh, it sucks we don't have a lot of, um, is this a light? I can't remember. So we can't hit them very hard right now. But we should be able to get our, uh, morale up. Deal zero damage if target has enlightenment in hand. Oh, so I do want enlightenment in, in hand. Still, it's gonna do four to eight, so I wanna have maybe defense, I, I, can't, I can't really plan anything because I don't have enough light to do anything. So they're just gonna like tear me up. Hey Nerf, how you doing? How's it going? I'm playing, I'm playing, uh, this is an anime game with dice and cards. And a pretty good story, actually. I'm, 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 I'm enjoying the story. On hit, add 48 enlightenment to tar to, to hand. Uh. If I could hit them for four to four, I, I would get some health back. Oh god, that was dumb. Did you try Moonsteer yet? I have not. Tuesdays are your stream day. I'm going to play that tonight and probably do some recording. I am I am still Patreon, yeah. Absolutely. I gotta get them pets. Okay, so I do have enlightenment in hand, so I should take zero damage from this. Nice. So I guess I want to not play Enlightenment if I can. So this will give me Enlightenment, but I already have Enlightenment. Do do do. Ah, staggered again. All right. Not sure what I'm doing wrong. Okay, well, I have enlightenment, so I should be taking zero damage. I think um, the key here is that I should play enlightenment when when I'm like able to, um, so that yeah, okay, so that they don't stagger me basically right away. Enlightenment is only good once I'm staggered. But now they're going to do damage to me because I don't have enlightenment in my hand. Oh my god. Alright. I think I'm starting to understand what I'm supposed to do here. Well, that, that actually went pretty well there. So they're about to give me enlightenment. I don't have any ability to... Okay. Here's where we... Oh, we didn't die yet. Somehow I'm still in this. So we have enlightenment again. So they're about to do damage. I, I, I should not use enlightenment. So I only want to use enlightenment when they do their penetration attack. But yeah, um, Narf, I've, I'm... I've got the the Moonstare Alpha, 
ready to go. I'm gonna back up my character first because of reasons, <laughs> and uh, I'm probably gonna play that uh, tonight and record. There we go. Is this it? E oh, not quite. Damn it. Okay, so they're about to... Well, uh, okay, so this is when you want to use Enlightenment. Because they're about to give me Enlightenment, and I should be able to defend against that. And then we want to hit them with something. Literally anything. Ah... I don't understand how that happened. I thought that they weren't even going to attack. Do we have enlightenment? We do, so they're gonna do zero damage, which is fine. We have a card that restores light called preparation, but it restores light only on slash win. <laughs> I'm having a very hard time actually winning. This is four to eight. I need to hit them. Okay, here we go. Four to yeah, but the thing is, I, I can't play this. I have four to five. I'm just gonna use enlightenment and defend for a second, and hopefully, I can uh, restore some of my light. And, and stagger. That works too. Um, if I can just hit them. Even once. I guess they don't take any damage from anything, right? They only stagger. Is that, the, is that correct? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to win this. Okay, maybe this one. Because this is three to seven. If I can just hit them. Never mind. This is so stupidly close. Okay, they're about to give me enlightenment. Which is fine. But I don't, I don't have any means to defend myself. No! I'm not winning. No, I'm not winning. No, I'm not winning. <laughs> I didn't win. I lost though. I got pretty close though. Um, I think I think what I need to do is take out maybe some of the high cost cards because I don't have enough light. This could be better. Struggle with it would at least give me a little bit of um, defense. Deflect would be nice take out like a dirty blow stagger and being immortal is the thing of this floor so abnormal abnormalities are all about stagger and being immortal well I wish they would cut it out Also, Nutsack has, like, no max light. Is that due to the Mars page? Because that's rough. Oh, I see we get more. Never mind. I should have known that. <laughs> okay. We're actually hitting them, which is good. We need to get back some of our stagger. Because uh, I'm not doing so. Okay, so they're about to do zero damage to us, which is good. Um, does that mean we can attack without worrying? Because, like, they're about to do nothing, right? Yes. And we actually hit them. Okay, this is going much better. Okay, we actually took out, like, most of their health. So we just need to defend for a little while. 
We have enlight so we want to use up in enlightenment like right now, and I think I want to do nothing else. Yeah, because that gets our stagger back a little bit. Maybe not actually. <sighs> but now they're gonna do their actual attack. Um. All right. Let's let's just hit him with this. No. Okay, that's actually fine. We can take a couple of attacks. Yeah, they're about to do their big old attack, and I can't do anything. Ouch. Okay, penetration. Yeah, there it is. Um... Okay, let's, let's just hit him, if we can. Getting kind of unlucky with some of these rolls, but also they, they can just roll higher than me. So we have enlightenment, so we should be able to attack them now. I only have one attack. There we go. So we've almost staggered them. We should be able to win on a stagger. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to use Enlightenment. There we go. I just got an achievement! It says, uh, it says your shield. So I just need to hit them as hard as possible right now. So 4 to 8 and 3 to 4, that might take them out. Otherwise, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that can... Maybe bleed? I can't remember what bleed does. Does bleed actually hurt them? Or or no? Well, it's still 3 to 6 and 3 to 5. So, you know, worth it. Oh, come on. Yes! There it is. Do you know that Limbus Company, new game from devs of this game, coming out this December? I don't, actually. Let me have a look at that real quick. Limbus Company. Uh, is it not on Steam? Guys, something terrible has happened. I'm out of iced coffee. I'm gonna have to microwave some more. Sir, you gotta wake up. You're gonna get sick if you sleep on the floor. That's Zach. Uh, one, I really, I'm, I know this is a language barrier and cultural thing, and it's, it's in, maybe insensitive me uh, of me to say, but I really don't like his name. <laughs> I wish it was not that. Once again, cast a glimpse at Roland while still lying on the floor before turning back again. The smell and this thing rolling around on the floor, don't tell me. A beer can, where the hell, where the heck did you get this? Bro, it's Tuesday already. It is. This is the library, Roland. Constructed from the light of possibilities. Anything's possible as long as you've got the book. What book would you read to get the drink that you need? It rhymes. Yo, uh, chat, here's, an, here's a fun question. If you could, like, uh, get, like, a single item from a book that you read, which, which would that be, and what book? And just to, just a hard mode, no, no ring, okay? No, no ring. You know the one I'm talking about. You know the one I'm talking about. You can't have a ring, okay? You can have a different ring, just not the one ring, you know? could go like golden compass i suppose now you know why i like this floor oh uh roland constructed from the light of yeah. are you sure you're sorting the books well you seemed okay at receiving guests at least he nods to the pile of books next to him really you sorted them all let me see that's uh the books are almost randomly scattered across the floor i don't think that counts as sorting here have a drink Hey, you've got manners at least. Let me let me take a sip of you and says. What? What are we hearing? <laughs> Did he just snort the beer? I don't think that's how beer works. <laughs> he was just like, 
you know, pours the beer on his sleeve and... <sighs> yes. I have ingested beer. Never guess I'd get the chance to drink beer in this place. Just so I know, manga doesn't count as a book, right? Well, the thing about manga, um, I, I'd say it does count, but like every single manga is gonna have like some kind of crazy power scaling item that just doesn't make sense, right? And it doesn't like manga power scales their items so hard that it like it, it doesn't make sense in any logical realistic world. And I, I'm a fan of manga, so I'm not like dogpiling manga here. I'm just saying uh, I would consider picking something a bit more rooted in reality where the item has more firm boundaries in what it is what it, you know, like here's a okay so here, here's a here's a good example um uh, some kind of beverage from a book is a great example of an item that you could have because they're generally very well described you know you know exactly what it is it's a beverage and it tastes a certain way and usually the book if it cares about that beverage will tell you what it tastes like is it good is it bad does it taste good then it's good you can have that beverage you know easy peasy right but like if you're like i want to have the gomu gomu fruit then i'll be like well <laughs> dude my 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 dude or they like it can't work because we don't know how ridiculously unstop like we, we don't know how that works like that just doesn't straight up this straight up just doesn't seem to work you know a hat from Sophie's hat shop in Howl's Moving Castle because I think hats are cool. It would be epic to get a custom hat for me. Someone's going to call you up for the fact that that is not a book, but I know it is a book because I've read it and that sounds wholesome as heck. Can I get a wand from Harry Potter? I mean, you can, but you're not magic, so it'd just be another stick on your wall. <laughs> Uh, blue telephone box is Doctor Who a book I'm a trustworthy source of information you can trust me it's Korean beer they usually snort it what no they don't imagine reading books at this day and age so sad I know right tell you what you can have one item from your favorite fan fiction or whatever the kids are reading these days. What's that thing? What's that thing that uh, kids are doing now uh, where they write a book in like 20 minutes? What is it called? Totorito or something? I, I, yeah. You can have your favorite item from, <laughs> from one of those. I just Googled the books came later. What? What books? Oh, Doctor Who? Yeah. No, uh, Doctor Who's always been a TV series. How oh, I miss the sparkling softness. Good stuff, eh? It sure is, brother. So how's... <laughs> he's a brother now. He, who cares? How's work been going? It's been going somehow. Not that I'm satisfied with it, though. What's your biggest complaint at the moment, then? That I have to take someone else's life with my hands. Uh, but it's either you or them, isn't it? That's why I have to fight, and that's what I don't like about it. I'll probably have to kill even more people as time goes by. It doesn't matter if it's a saint or the scum of the earth. Everyone wants to live all the same. I found a thing in a book that's my perfect choice. A gun. Yikes. <laughs> you can, I mean, you know, uh, granted you follow the pro proper channels and wait the appropriate number of days you can get a gun in real life you don't have to take it from a book is it a special gun does it shoot happiness i like that gun it shoots uh, flowers and rainbows and <clears throat> unicorn uh just unicorns and kitties well no it doesn't shoot kitty okay listen de depending on how you hear that sentence is very dramatic and listen I'm saying that the gun is a good gun, you know? It's a good gun. Not a, not a, um, necessarily a, a bad gun that might be bad or be used for bad. Uh, like Victor Gugo, 
He's French, I know it, but he's my favorite author. I have not read or heard of this, this author. I would, I would check it out though. Um, I think Golden Compass. Although the thing is, is that, like, you know, all of these books come with some kind of like, uh, asterisk of, well, yeah, you could get the Golden Compass, but then also only that person in that book was able to use it properly. And then, you know, whatever. You, no one else can. So, never mind. Golden Compass out. Never mind. No subtle knife either. You French. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. If, if we are counting comics, I want the, I want the glider from Nausicaa. That, that is some beans. That is some good beans right there. The glider from Nausicaa, that would, be, I would definitely die. But it would be so much fun. I have, I have more comics on my wall than I do actual books, so... This is not a, a great deal for me. Honestly, okay, I know that, uh, um, what's his name? What's the guy, who's the guy that made Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I can't remember his name right now. Uh, Rowell. Is it Rowell? I know he's problematic now, and that I'm not going to question that, but I am going to say that the Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is rife with many things that I would definitely enjoy. Wait, comics count? Well, that's the thing, right? Like, I don't know. I want Iron Suit? Yeah, that's, see, that's the problem, is that as soon as you count comics, it's just like War Machine. <laughs> Beans, you British? In it? You like them toast or something? In it, governor? The, the queen? Yeah, the queen. Yes, the queen. Mm. I'm picking up what you're putting down. But it's no different out there, really. People all hurt and kill others because they don't want to be hurt themselves. The elixir, how ye got from Ching, it's from a collection of stories, though, not a novel. I guess that's how things were in the outside world. Where are you from, by the way? The nest? The back streets? Dunno, I'm feeling tipsy. All I remember it for sure is that I worked at a lobotomy corp. Oh, hey, I know that. I know that game. I keep not buying that game. Must have been in a pretty sweet spot working in a mega corp like that. You really think so? Duh, of course. People are bound to envy anyone who gets to join a wing. They give a lot of cash, welfare is nice, and you gain social status too. <clears throat> yeah, that's what they always say. Let's just forget about all of that for now and drink some more. Alright, gotta drink while I can. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, who wants to be a librarian? Do, do, do. 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 Do, do, Um, I can't get more than one Mars page, right? I'm pretty sure that's correct. What are some good pages that I could uh, grind for? Because I, I, I kind of want to just get a bunch of pages that... Unless you can... I guess you can only get one of each, huh? It made cha Changer so immortal she got flung to the moon and there she lives eternally alone. That sounds bad. No, you can't. Okay. Um, Neville. Do you want to be a, a librarian? I kind of like their hairstyle right now. I'm just like picking someone random from chat who hasn't been a librarian yet. You can grind with side stuff, but it's not that good yet. Okay. Neville, what color do you want your hair? Do you want it to be like your icon? 
There you go. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I kind of like the eyes that are going on right now. Here, let's go harder on the, on the eyes. Hey, bot. Am I the only one left? No, uh, there's a few people who haven't, who don't have, uh, like, bot doesn't have a librarian yet. Can I be bald and overweight? Uh, you can be bald. This game, uh, doesn't really have a fat option, unfortunately. There you go. It's Caillou. Each day I play some more. I, I forget how the rest of it goes. If comics, I would possibly get something that I need. The looks neat. Electronic glasses from Space Boy to see and use as a computer. Yeah, I mean, like, we could def we could do comics. I guess. I guess, okay, you know what? How about this? Pick one from both a book and uh, a comic book. Super skinny. Uh, I, like, there, there's not really a lot of options. You can be big or small. That's small with an O or big with an E. <laughs> with two E's. <clears throat> you can be Chongus. A small bean. Chongus nugget or little bean. Tiny bean. Um, how do you feel about this getup for your costume? These are the li these are all the librarians. If you see someone you like, uh, see one you like, then then let me know. It's just the outfits, not the hair. Uh, other than that, then there's like outdoorsy kind of um, homeless-ish and then there's <clears throat> uh, disp dystopian anime uh, and then there's like FBI anime and then there's robot anime and then there's Jack uh, violence just violence seems fine you like this it does match your icon so I actually I kind of like this too would pick mystic and unrealistic thing called love from any romance book. <laughs> what? Are you are you picking something uh, nebulous? <clears throat> are you picking a concept? You can do that, I suppose. So, what is their key page going to be? Well, I'll just pick out this for now. Ugh, now I have to tell them that they have to look. I don't. I want them to look like this. There we go combat pages I, I am starting to run out of pages so I might want to kind of grind a little bit I don't know I'm feeling I'm feeling the squeeze there we go upon defeating an enemy gain one strength and, and next scene okay and uh, we don't have anything set out for net sack We'll do like, hmm, so they, hold on, they, what's, what are their, I don't know what their, their actual buffs do. I think it's on penetration, right? They do stagger damage on certain things. I'm just gonna give them stuff. I wish I could be a bit smarter about this, but uh, I need I need more pages. You know what? We could, we should burn some books. Why not? You don't need to fill every floor with pages. You can use most powerful pages and swap them around at will. Really? That seems really kind of labor intensive, does it not? Okay, so we're gonna burn some books of Lulu. Um, we're gonna burn some Zvi South. Some back streets. A ton of back streets. Can only burn up to 20 books. 
This is the pierce floor, not penetration. So we got Lulu's page. Lulu should be better. Should be pretty good, actually. Um, set fire. Okay, we've got some. We've got some really good pages now. So I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be so frugal. So wait a minute. I could like. Can I only have? Hmm. Do I, I have to fill up their page, right? Let's let's give them Lulu's page. How come I have three Lulu's page? Fifty percent chance to inflict burn on successful attack. Lulu is a good Malkuth page. Is it? We have three of them, so I should be able to give Malkuth one. Wow, I have 29 of these set fire. <laughs> Deal three damage to self. That doesn't sound good. You're too slow. Add plus two power, two next to die. Okay. That sounds like a good one. Uh, give one endurance to all allies. Sounds good. I know you said you don't have to give uh, fill a page up. Sorry, fill uh, a floor with pages. There's some of the terminology in this game trips me up. On clash, win, boost, next dies, max value by plus three. Okay. But like, for me, I just like to keep things pretty simple. Uh, I don't want to have to like swap pages around. That sounds like a lot of work to me. I'm probably wrong about that, but uh, I'll give... So let's... Let's take all of this off, and we're going to give her um, Lulu's page, because she inflicts paralysis. Is that why? No, that doesn't make sense. Why is, uh, Mal why is Lulu good on Malkuth? You can fill strongest pages and put them on any floor you like. There is not enough good pages to fill every floor, so you have to swap your most powerful build floors and stuff, sadly. Oh, so is it not? Is it better to just fill up a specific key page and then swap that key page around? Seems like that's maybe the deal. Also, I made this a really high cost build. Let's, let's dial it back a little bit. All right, <clears throat> let's do the next pay, uh, next book, I suppose. Um, oh, here we go, my bad. Wild, we need a lot for this, huh? In game, I just had same five key pages on every floor, just with adjusted builds. Hmm. I guess that's like ultimately less work than what I'm doing, so I might consider doing that. But it means I'm gonna have to like take all the pages off of every book or every key page, and then like actually consider some builds. We have a lineup for of the search team, and you two are in, San Julia. I'm finally heading back to the library. Yeah, let's go retrieve the books of Mars and Lulu and come back safely. Don't forget, while our main objective has been decided is retrieving the books of Mars and Lulu thanks to the coincidence of interest between San and the Association, we uh, should still try to secure as much information as possible, meaning we should collect as many books as we can. 
Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I know it's a silly question to ask, but why is Vi, an association specializing in peacekeeping and security, deciding to set up a search team of all things to enter the library? Why did you come begging to us in the first place if you knew all that? That's... that's because this was the only place I could, co could count on. What about your younger brother? My brother is... well, never mind. Once again, I'm sorry for the trouble, and thanks again for the help. Hmm. Well, anyway, since you're running an affiliate office, I suppose it's okay to tell you this. The distortion phenomenon classified as an urban nightmare, I'm sure you've at least heard of it, even if you haven't seen it yourself, right? It's an anomaly that has been happening throughout the city ever since the white nights and dark days. The frequency may be low, but people are turning into monsters at random, and each individual occurrence is a huge pain to deal with. Yeah, I know. The pianist. The first reported case of this phenomenon. It ended up killing up, uh, killing 80% of District 9's population. District 9? I've seen that movie. You know what this, uh, this game kind of reminds me in terms of its, like, themes? Is, um, Madoka Magica. If anyone's watched that, they know maybe what I'm talking about a little bit. Um, if you haven't seen it, 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 uh, on first glance appears to be a magical girl anime, which, don't judge me, but it's actually a pretty good, good one, and, uh, content warning on that if you're going in blind. Huge content. Very, very, very similar in content warning for this game, if, if that helps. Hey, Kevbo. Every floor has its own strats. Malkuth and game strategy is to make three copies of highest cost cards and make it its cost zero. Spam and boom, 300 burn stack. I guess I haven't been paying close enough attention to the actual combat pages to understand how to make those kind of builds yet. I heard that it was so sudden the Hannah Association had to dispatch one of the colors immediately after realizing the severity of the situation. That's right. Yet we still don't have any clues to track down the cause of this phenomenon. The most we have is the sudden disappearance of Elcorp and the White Knights and Dark Days, whose starting point was in the corporation's nest. Zvi suspects that the library may be one of the keys to understanding the, the distortion phenomenon. A co-worker told me a similar story. Said, said a resident in the area they were peacekeeping was suddenly distorted and transformed into a four-legged beast, even though they weren't there weren't any signs of danger or anomaly nearby. Thankfully, they managed to take care of that creature before the death toll could hit two digits. And I also heard that a restaurant clerk turned into a man-eating sandwich monster? Something like that one time? I think I understand now. So the distortion phenomenon is a clear and apparent threat to Zvi's peacekeeping activities, and they expect the library to hold a clue for resolving it. <coughs> Schedule got wonky today, but I can at least stop by. How goes Persona? Haha. <laughs> Pretty good. You got that right. Fortunately, there haven't been any cases of the phenomenon that's nearly as devastating as the pianist so far. It looks like Vi is going to have to keep an eye out for the library for a while, though there are several other suspects that need to investigate as well, so we won't be getting any high grade fixers. Question Was the library created from Lobotomy Corp? Like, is the library a, the kind of concept or, or thing, like, thing that the Lobotomy Corp can create? This is more than enough help, thanks, Isadora. I said I'm doing my job. It's not like I'm doing you a favor or anything. It's not like I'm... It's not like I want to find your brother for you, San. Sure you are. You have my thanks as well as those are. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, no, I, t I missed you, Kevbo. Is that really true? What is? The things they said about the library, is this place really all connected to stuff like White Nights and Dark Days, El Corp and the distortion phenomenon? I'm frankly not even sure where we are in the city though. It was created from El Corp? Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. What if I said it is? If you said it is, I'm not sure I get what you mean. It's extremely rare for an incident to encompass a city like the White Nights and Dark Days did. There have been some cases of wings falling apart on their own, but o those only affected their own nests at most. Co uh, uh, their own nests at most. El Corp was something else entirely. It's like the whole city fell asleep for a week. Let's say that the library really is related to the White Nights and Dark Days. What does that change? 
nothing, I guess. My work is still going to be the same. I wouldn't mind trying El Corp at some point, just to just to kind of get more flavor of this world, because they are building an interesting one. So this is the library. The transportation method is almost like a singularity. Yeah, the director of the library will soon come and greet us. Angela, was it? Greetings, dear guests. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. How did this guy escape? He already came here once. That usually means, like, instant death. White Nights and Dark Days is a true ending to the Lobotomy Corp. Oh, interesting. Though it appears that you already know who I am. Is library the library, like, the ultimate creation of the L Corp? Like, a stable, basically, nightmare myth or something like that we're here to take back the books of dark mars and lulu they are here indeed we can get the books we want or die and turn into books ourselves right that is correct as it is written on the invitation it's like i'm talking to a wall she's so robotic may you find your book in this place so they're weak to pierce pierce and pierce so um, do we have someone with a lot of pierce set up? I, I mean, I'm probably just going to go with, uh, Team Lowland. Because it's just easier for me that way, you know? Oh, that's a bad start. Okay, well, we can at least divide and conquer here a little bit. Oh, no! Lolan didn't have the Mars page. Gotta, gotta ba back out of that, I'm afraid. Oh, no. No! No, I only had one Book of Mars. Now I gotta go grind Book of Mars. No! <laughs> no! All right, how do I how do I get Book of Mars? Is it I got to fight this one. It's a sabotaged goal of Lobotomy Corp by Angela. Result of sabotage. Oh, okay. So I got to fight Mars again to get more books of Mars. Kind of, uh, you know, backwards, but it is what it is. Let's, um, can we, oh, we can't equip a key page. I already messed up. All right, let's just throw some stuff on here. I know I'm very much smooth bra braining this whole game. Um, maybe that is a problem, but, you know. You know, it's only a problem if it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, this is not good. And there's no way to actually stop them from doing that. Oh, I put charge up on void. That was not smart. So, uh, I'm a 10. You're about to be absolutely destroyed. There's nothing I can do about this. Did I still not put Mars Page on? Wow, I'm like really smart and good at this game. I can't believe I'm actually winning right now. <clears throat> Lulu is done. No, it's not a problem. You will have to learn the hard way then. <laughs> yep. That's true. I, I will have to learn. I, I'm a, I'm a learn the hard way kind of guy anyway. You know. Whiff, whiff, whiff. There we go. Stagger. Mm. 
this is a this is an older combat, so I really shouldn't have to try too hard on this one. We shouldn't need a lot of combat to kill this guy. There we go. Smooth brain equals smooth sailing. Correct. Okay, we should just be able to hit them hard and uh, in this smack, 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 smack. Hit, staggered. Nice. Honestly, it was quite a lot of damage to stagger them. So I'm a little bit surprised it went that way. But we should be good now. Dead. Book of Mars obtained, thank goodness. All right, let me put the Book of Mars, uh, or the Page of Marge, Marge. <clears throat> Homie, homie. That's my Marge. <laughs> uh, um, I can't really do a, a Marge impression. Okay, We're, we, we now, I now have things set up correctly and we have the book we need, maybe? So I have four of those, two of these, and four of those. So if I, I might need some more Lulu pages if I mess this up. We're gonna skip this. Sans combat pages are actually very good. That can have their own worth even at the later parts of the game. Marge page obtained. <laughs> okay, we should be good. I, I now have the correct setup here for Lo uh, Loland. This is going to be possibly the last combat of this uh, for for Library of Rumina for today. So they are all um, focusing on one lad here. Can we head them off? If we tie with them, do, do we actually... No, it won't work that way. Okay. So let's just like try and do some damage. Um, it's too bad we only have the one attack here because then we could possibly defend against two. Uh, their pen, so, well, I can't really do anything. I don't want to use that charge up if I can avoid it. Deflect, took a little bit of damage. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Good stuff there. Nice. Excellent. Even got an extra hit there. Uh, after three successful attacks, I like this one, and I like to put it on Roland because he does a lot of attacking. So let's go ahead and have him hit. We're going to we're gonna do a simple attack against the one attacking us, and then we're going to do a big attack on the staggered foe. And we're just going to hit the other one hard. Okay, that's fine. We weren't really trying to do anything major to that character. We were just trying to, like, fend them off. Ouch. Okay, that was rough. That was fine. I think that was actually pretty good. Okay. So now Roland is going to... Yeah, we can actually do both of our attacks. We'll hit the this this lad hard. Um, we could do a charge up. If we do this, does this mean that they're going to attack Void? And that means that their charge up is going to do, like, nothing, basically? So I guess I'd rather not do that. Stagger... There we go. Defend, defend, smack, smack. Yo, dead. Awesome. Still didn't play Gloomwood? Oh my god. You had a week. 
I was gonna do Gloomwood today. Well, this is this is fine because we are just going to destroy this character here. Um, it's okay. Wandering Village might take up more time than I hope. Uh, well, not hope. I, I like Wandering Village, but like you know, it's a full stream, and I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover everything. We are going to do Franbo at the end of the stream. Uh, oh, I have some good news. Now that there's uh, more people here, I wanted to let you know about this. Um, October is coming up. It's going to be here before you know it. Um, spooky month. I'm going to be streaming twice a week in October. The reason being is I want to do some spooky games. And uh, I'd, I'd like to cover some stuff. I actually bought Resident Evil 2 with it in mind to play it. I've never played a Resident Evil game ever. So it should be fun. Um, I might even do some other ones too. I also have uh, Pathologic 2, which is a game that I know some people have wanted me to play. So I might honestly do a second stream per week that is just like Resident Evil 2 and Pathologic 2. So um, I have other creepy games as well. I might put them in um, like the main Tuesday stream. Uh, I'm thinking, wait, actually I had a day in mind for this. I think it might be Wednesday. So I might do Tuesdays and Wednesdays in October. But I'll get back to you. And it might be a week to week basis. Like it might, the second day may change. Um, actually a good day, good gift on my B day month. Nice. Tuesdays will stay the same, but the second day may move around a little bit. Oh. Okay, Imatan is still hurt. And he's about to take quite a lot of damage. So let's um let's actually defend him a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and attack this lad. Uh we'll do keep it fresh, I guess. Cooking prep is, is good, right? And I know gut harvesting is actually really good. Oh, I'm a tan. Whiffin. Whiffin and almost died. Okay. This was kind of awful. This whole floor. Ooh, okay. We staggered someone. That's good. October stream month. Heart. Okay, we can't do this one. Oh, well, maybe we can. We could actually, we'll put this one on Imatan because they're about to die and we could give them some extra endurance and, and maybe give them a, a fighting chance. I don't know if I have a good set of pages on Imatan. I might have just like given them whatever. Uh, unfortunately, they're about to take two attacks, and I can't really do anything about it because they these these lads rolled quite high. I, I do need to hit this guy to to kill them. I'm hoping that this is going to be enough. Nice, nice. I'm a ten redeeming themselves and survived. That was a good call on that uh, perk. Kill, kill them. No! No, now they're they're alive. Okay, I'm a tan. Um, they're they're weak to pen. I'm a tan does have a pen attack. Pierce, sorry. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do that, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit this person hard. There we go. I'm a tan has killed again. This person is dead. Solid. Book of Sand obtained. Is the other stream also Europe friendly? Um, can you give me a, like a range of Europe friendly times? I was thinking of streaming during the day. Same same usual time, like 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. for me. So um, if this is Europe friendly, then I, I may might keep it that way. And seeing as that is nighttime for you, um, 
that seems I think that suits me because that you know it's meant to be a spooky stream gained book of distortion also got some stuff the library is located in the source of the white nights and dark days oh I touched up the headquarters of El Corp, the center of it, for my own use. I have no comment to make on the distortion phenomenon that apparently started occurring afterwards. I have little to no information about that phenomenon either. Though I do have a guess. Whoa, that came out of nowhere. You were curious about it earlier, earlier weren't you? Uh, I was created as a me mechanical secretary to assist the manager of Lobotomy Corporation. So is, um... Is Angela in El Corp? Like, is she a major character? This is your friendly yes. Okay, cool. I was designed to look like a human, feel emotions, and make evaluations and judgments based on those emotions. It's as you were suspected. I was born in secret, violating the AI ethics amendment. I never got to make my own judgment. Funnily enough, I had to read the same script over and over for one million years. All for the success of a single project. The play that never seemed to end finally concluded one day and and the White Nights and Dark Days happened as a result. Thanks for letting me know. I don't know who came up with that insane plan, but thanks to them, the distortion phenomenon started wreaking havoc on the city and random interval, at, at, at random intervals. Ordinary people would turn into monsters all of a sudden and they'd kill everything in sight. And the first ever case of the distortion, boy, was that a hellscape. It happened without any oncoming sign in a district that everyone believed to be relatively safe. She is a very much a major character. She is the first character you meet to be exact. Wow. The massacre was a lot of art, too. It was named the pianist for a reason. What more could I say? Anyway, thanks for telling me all that. Must have been a sensitive topic to you. You aren't as shocked as I expected. The monsters created from the distortion did give off a suspiciously similar vibe to this library and its caretakers. You must have gone through a whole lot of distress in your life. Anyway, what comes next is the problem. What can we do to lure this why here? You can use this book. I tried writing down the relationship between El Corp and the distortion phenomenon. It should be quite valuable to them under these circumstances. New book. Oh, not new book. New new floor for Malkuth. All right. Um, am I just giving Malkuth the book of Mars, or could I keep her keep keep what she's got right now? Happy teddy bear. Oh goody. Well, at least it it doesn't look too nightmarish. Ten to ten. Are you kidding me? So it 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 wins everything. Okay, so it does very little damage, but it has high defense. Affection reduced the cost of nostalgic embrace of the old days by one after engaging in a clash. I'm assuming that that is a very, very high, big attack that is going to, to destroy me. They are very weak to slash. Read the passives. I am reading the passives. I am, I am reading the passives. <clears throat> I think I need to get uh, more slash in this group before I can take this on because I don't really have much of, of any. Well, I am actually doing pretty okay damage. Okay, um, so now they're actually going to hit us pretty hard. Four to six. That's not too bad. They're hitting Malkuth. Malkuth has extra pin. No, sorry, extra defense. What is what is going on here? Take one less. Yeah, they've got endurance because I just gave that to them. Um, let's inflict some bleed. Uh, we can inflict some burn as well. Why not? Uh, even with our extra protection, we took quite a lot of damage there. The first two combat pages the librarian uses after this arm normality page is selected gain the match light status. Whenever the librarian uses a page with match light, gain one ember. Pages with match light become stronger based on the amount of ember. However, they have a 25% chance to damage the user. Eh. This, this seems like much simpler and easier. Uh, reduce the cost, so 
Display of Affection is still going to hit us pretty hard. I mean, we can try and defend against it, but I feel like just hitting them hard is is the thing. I've been, I have hit them with burn. What does this do? At the end of the scene, take two damage and subtract one third. Okay, so it's just that's just extra damage. So hitting them with burn is actually totally fine. Whoa, they staggered us really good. Oh, and I think the burn took care of them. Wow, that went really well. Nice. New floor. New new page. Or, I don't know. I, listen, the terminology really kind of eludes me in this game. Wow, got a ton of books for you, Malkuth. By the way, I told you before that this is my third life, right? Oh, yeah. You've been thinking about your previous lives? By the way, I heard from Angela that this place is related to Lobotomy Corporation somehow. Is that really true? It's not just related somehow. I was an AI in charge of the control team in Lobotomy Corporation. She's an AI as well? So she's in L Corp as well, huh? <clears throat> AI? AI as in artificial intelligence? Hold on a sec. You're an AI? Just like Angela? Sorry, my wording was a little off. I wasn't a real AI. I was a human whose brain was restored for a second chance, if anything. Sheesh. I was worried for a second that this place violated the AI ethics amendment even bef more than just one time. The head could come burn this place to the ground at any moment, if that were the case. You mean the institution that manages the city? Yep, er, that head. They usually like to stay awfully quiet, but when they do have work, they're scarily through, uh, thorough and quick about it. Or so I've heard, you know. You're so casual, aren't you? I thought you we were having a serious conversation here. Oh, whoops, sorry, I've gotten through all kinds of stuff, so my prior priorities tend to be a bit unusual. It's not like I was trying to ignore what you were saying or anything, because I'm sorry if it made you feel bad. You have a rather unique personality, Roland. It was all part of my survival strategy. Anyway, back to your past. You said you used to be the boss of the control team back in the Lobotomy Corp, right? That's right. And now I'm in charge of history here, as you can see. So I started out by tracing back in my own history, very, very slowly. Would you like to have a listen? Uh, not a fan of long and convoluted stories. Hey, don't be such a mood killer. You're supposed to agree here. Well, why bother asking if you're going to tell me the story anyway? Uh -huh. You know what you got me there. Anyway, I was ordered to work in Lobotomy Corp as the head of the control team bearing all my flaws. I was given a role to play as soon as I woke up, not realizing who I truly was, but with my heart still aching from the unresolved pain and regret from my past almost about to burst. Just like that, I kept doing inhumane acts for a Lobotomy Corp. I didn't even question what I was doing, since it was all about, uh, all just work to me. It felt like a calling, even. The only thing guiding me was a vague feeling that something went wrong because I didn't have, didn't try hard enough. My twisted sense of effort pushed many into peril. I forced others into following my selfish standards like a fretful child. Must have been rough for you, being told to work like that without knowing what you were getting into. Did your men uh, memories naturally come back after working Lobotomy Corp for a while, or...? It's more like a... It'd be more correct to say I was reminded of them. My life at Lobotomy Corp was actually my second. And when my emotions finally erupted while working there, I could remember my first life. All the mistakes and faults I had made and regret. I could understand why I had been so obsessed with trying hard. Turns out, what I really wanted was recognition. Look, I'm trying so hard. I'm a useful person. I never knew how to stand up without learning on, uh, leaning on someone else. After I vented out all my emotions, the inner struggle that had been haunting me for so long finally dissolved. I found redemption for my first life during my second life. Alright, so let me get this straight. You did something wrong, which you regretted so much and died, somehow came back to life and got another job, and the big lump of regret in your heart eventually got resolved in a turn of events? I guess that's one way to put it. Hold on for a moment. Let's say that everything else makes sense since it's the city we're talking about. But who revived you and for what reason? Just to give you that enlightenment? Maybe. So that I can let out all my resentment and sorrow. That I can find redemption? Don't delude yourself, Makuth. Whoa, geez, you scared me for a sec. Were you listening to all of this? Your salvation was never in his interests. He only did it as a means to find his own redemption. I wasn't the, the one using you, it was him. He used all of you just to satisfy himself. I can't bear to hear any more of this nonsense. Angela. So I need you to fall asleep. 
What? So they're all AI? Is uh is Roland also an AI? Okay. What's with those faces? It's the rest the rest you all longed for. We can't let you do that. We've worked so hard to make this happen. And we I assume we have not met uh Gibbera yet. And this is someone oh uh, yeah, that's someone else we haven't met and Hokma. Worked hard. How funny. Would you really call what you've done work hard? Or hard work, sorry. We're not going to sit still and let you take away our light. Our light? You're not in the boss, and I would never listen to you, even if you were. Chessed? This is Chessed here? Of course you won't. You're still loyal to that man. I won't let you rob me of the meaning I finally found. More like brains in the boxes. Oh. Hawk my ball. God damn it, and I read it too. No one is by my side as I expected. Do not feel so lonesome now. I shall stand by your side if no one else wills to. Damn it, Bena. Uh, even in the end, you're... This must be yet another consequence of his actions. I simply acknowledge all events as valid. I should have shed it. Uh, I would have shed a tear of gratitude for you if I could. Feel free to act upon your, your wishes. Angela, a machine consumed by desires, you cannot take this path. I decide what I can or can't do now. You can't cling to Lobotomy Corporation forever. Aren't you interested in learning more about yourself or living your own life? My life. It was to save humanity. That's why I could willingly sacrifice my life. It was for a greater cause. What a bunch of idiots. Seems another storm swept by. I gave away my two previous lives trying to save people, and I'm willing to do it again for a third time. We withstood all those hardships and trials for the sake of humanity. Do we look like idiots to you, Roland? Well, it's not like I know enough of the details. Don't get this whole saving humanity thing either. But if that's what you sincerely hope for, who am I to judge? Of course I'm sincere. I, uh, please leave me for a bit. I need some time to think. All right, you do look like you need some rest. Remember, deep breaths, okay? Oh, and you don't have to be too cur courteous with me when we talk. Just thought I'd let you know. Yeah. Okay, so let me try and get this straight. Um, it seems to me that Lobotomy Corporation stole brains and shoved them in robots so that they could assist in uh, creating monsters. Am I kind of correct on that one? And then Angela, in their in, in her pursuit to create the library, basically escaped the uh, Lobotomy Corp and seek revenge, uh, stole the the brains. They she stole like the the robots and turned them into books, because technically they were human and they had past lives, and she can just do that with the library. And so the robots were turned back into a kind of a simulacra of a human being. And now that they're books, they have pasts, which means we, they can read their pasts. And so every time we're fighting anomalies, we're finding out about them. Is that more or less correct? This game um, has a lot of layers to it. I can understand. I can. I can uh, understand and appreciate why it is uh, very well loved, because it it's got a lot of really interesting layers to it. It's got some character development that happens in a kind of uh, very abstract way. Like you you have to you kind of have to read into a lot of the um, visuals and th themes to to kind of pick up what what the characters are about. And I, I can really appreciate that. This game is not like a surface level game by any stretch of the imagination. It's even for an anime, it's got like a lot of layers to it in depth. Um, okay, so that's gonna do it for Library of Ruina for today. Last game was about gathering light, AKA mental energy from abnormalities. Oh, I see. Is that the same light that we use to use our attacks?
What's the rating on this game? 